adding to our prepper pantry and our emergency supplies. Previously on Wicked Prepared. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather today, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but we do have a prepper pantry haul for you this week. We've got some good stuff. Um, we actually have a couple of bigger items included in this haul, things that we've had our eyes on for a while, we've had on our wish list for a while, and finally managed to add those to our preps. All right, guys, this cold is literally hitting me like a ton of bricks, and I am really kind of running out of steam. So I hate to say this, but I think I'm going to have to cut this short, and we're going to have to bring you a part two for the rest of this haul. Hey guys, it's Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back everyone. I'm back to finish up part two of last week's haul. The good news is I am feeling a lot better. My voice is still a little rough so I might not sound much better than I was, but trust me when I say I am feeling much better. And we are finally having some beautiful weather in the 70s here. Let me know down in the comments what kind of temperatures you're seeing in your neck of the woods. So last week I got through the first part of my haul which included everything I got from Amazon, my Thrive Life order, and all also everything I got from Azure Standard this month. If you missed part one, we will put a link to that in the description box and in a pinned comment so you can go back and catch up on what you missed. I was coming down with a wicked bad cold and I knew you guys would understand if we came back and finished up later. So today I've got the rest of that haul which is mostly Walmart, Dollar Tree, and Save-A-Lot. And of course I'm going to have some little tips and tricks for saving money. But before we get started I do just want to share one thing with you, one exciting bit of news that we just got. Coming up in just a couple of days Thrive Life will be having their big annual spring sale. Now if you're not familiar with Thrive Life, I did have some items from them in part one of this haul. They are a freeze dried food company and they are the best of the best. They sell freeze dried foods in cans with a 25 year shelf life. You can get everything. You can get fruits, vegetables, meats. And I'm telling you, freeze dried meats are so much better than canned meats. You can get dairy, shredded cheese, sour cream and butter powder. So many things to fill up your prepper pantry. They also have complete meals with a 20 year shelf life, um, freeze dried meals, and they have special shelving racks for your cans that rotate them on a first in first out basis and help organize your food storage. The sale is going to be happening from the 18th to the 24th with early access for consultants on the 17th. So I'll be shopping a day early and there is something I'm super excited about ordering. They only have three big sales throughout the year and that's this one, the back to school sale and the Black Friday sale. So it's a great time to stock up because we won't see prices like this again for quite a few months. Now I know quite a few of you have already discovered Thrive Life, but if you haven't and you'd like to check it out or check out the sale and take advantage of these prices, which are going to be up to 50% off then I'm gonna leave a link down in the description box where you can check out the website I recommend you go ahead and set up a customer account today if you don't have one already it's totally free and then you'll be on our email list to get an email when the sale starts you'll be all set up to shop the sale in case anything sells out quickly and you'll also have a personalized share link if you want to share the sale with anyone you know and earn some free credit to use down the road if you want to go a step further, we do have a new service we're offering, which is a text reminder service that people have been loving. This is totally free as well, and you just text SALE to the number right down there on the bottom of your screen. And that's all you have to do to sign up. Then you'll get text alerts right on your phone. So now let's move on to the rest of our haul, but stay tuned to the end and I will go over the sale flyer a bit, show you what's going to be on sale, which items I'm most excited about, and some tips and tricks for shopping the sale. So now everything I've got over here is mostly like Walmart and Dollar Tree, I think, mostly. Well, I'm starting off right here with a few things from Save-A-Lot. Um, Save-A-Lot is like our discount grocery store. I know a lot of you have a Save-A-Lot. I don't know how widespread it is, but this is more of these little pastas. This is a vermicelli. This is one of the sh shapes of the pasta that they sell there. I have bought this before. Um, they're just teeny tiny little pieces and what I bought what I'm going to use these for mostly is I'm going to be making some homemade um, rice aroni mixes so that's something that I can use that for but they're also just a very thin um, very quick cooking pasta that would be great for jar meals and things like that my save a lot sells these for I think 56 cents a package I want to say and then this is also from save a lot this is a Chinese rib sauce now this was actually kind of expensive I want to say this was $5.99 or $6.99 for this jar but I looked on Amazon, on Walmart and stuff, and I didn't see it cheaper. Um, my sister turned me on to this. She uh, uses this and buys just really cheap cuts of pork and does like 
basically spare ribs for dinner sometimes. And it looked really good when she was making it. So I thought I'd buy one um, jar and try it. And if we like it, then we'll probably stock more of this in our pantry. Now this seasoning right here, I bought four of these. This is soul seasoning. I don't know. I've seen soul seasoning on Amazon, but it's a different brand. This is the brand they have at Save A Lot. I just, I stumbled upon this soul seasoning when I was looking for Creole seasoning and Save A Lot didn't have it. And that was the only store I was going to get to. And I just thought this sounded like Creole. So maybe it was close. And it's really delicious. I use this in like a creamy shrimp and corn soup that I make. And I that was the recipe that called for the Creole seasoning. When I finally found Creole seasoning and made the recipe again, it's not nearly as good. So I love this stuff. And they used to sell a really large container of this. And I bought a few of those. So I do have quite a bit of this stocked up in my prepper pantry. But last time I went there, they didn't have the large container. And I had to look to find this. And I got kind of worried thinking they might discontinue it. So I bought... um four more of the small bottles. Also, my daughter like, loves that soup and she was asking me for the recipe and I told her she had to get this seasoning. So I'll probably give her um, a bottle of this as well. Now, this is the final thing from Save A Lot. This is basically like their copy of the Nature Valley um, granola, crunchy granola bars. Now, Nature Valley used to have their variety pack. It had oats and honey, peanut butter, and they had a cinnamon one. And my daughter just recently was asking me, what were those granola bars I used to eat when I was a little kid? And we finally figured out she was talking about those cinnamon Nature Valley. And I looked and looked and I don't think they're making them anymore. So I saw this pack and it has maple brown sugar, which isn't the same as cinnamon, but my kids love maple brown sugar oatmeal. So I thought we'd buy this and try it. And if we do like it, we can buy you know, stock a lot more of these in the pantry, but we're going to try this one basically for that maple brown sugar. So that was everything from Sable. And now I've got some things I got from Walmart on clearance. Um, I did grab these marinade in a bag. This is like the bag has the liquid inside of it and it's a big Ziploc bag folded up. So you literally just put your meat in the bag and it's ready to go. And they had these marked at $1.09 and I think that's less than I pay. We like to use the grill mates packets. And I think I'm paying more for those Grillmates packets now than $1.09. And I have to add extra ingredients like oil and vinegar and things like that. And I have to supply my own bag or container. So I thought this was a really great deal. So I got um, a bunch of these. I think I've got five here. Now these I grabbed in the clearance aisle at Walmart. Now I had seen these in the clearance aisle, oh, quite a while ago, many months ago. And they were marked at a lot of money still. They were close to $20. So I did not grab them because I usually get my uh, reading glasses at Dollar Tree for $1.25. But I love the fact that these are super thin and portable because I find myself stuck without reading glasses sometimes when I'd really like to have them and I have a really hard time without them. So um, I really regretted not purchasing these when I saw them. And then I looked, tried to look them up on like Amazon and online and they were like $25. So I was like, oh, I should have just bit the bullet and bought them. So when I saw them again, even though they were marked at, I think, 16 something, I grabbed them and I grabbed this one was the only package they had that had the two uh, 2.5 magnification. So I grabbed it. But when I took it to the register, it only scanned for six dollars. So I was super excited about that. I wish they had had more of those. The other ones, the two the two times magnification were scanning at the 16 something. Then I found these, which are a little different. Um, they're only two times magnification, but they're in a thin little case that you could stick onto your phone or your wallet. This one is a keychain case. These were also, I believe, $6. So I grabbed a couple of these. I'm super excited to have these so that I can basically make sure that I have reading glasses with me wherever I go. I think these just set right on your nose. They don't have the like parts that go behind your ears, but I'm just thinking they're going to be better than nothing. So we'll see. Now I did find one of these um, in the clearance aisle. I think it's because the packaging is a little bit ripped, but it's no big deal. And this is, I've bought these from Amazon before in a case because it was cheaper than buying them from Walmart or the other grocery store, but this was cheaper. This one that was marked down was cheaper than the Amazon price. These are great. They're already um, all ready to go. You just heat them up and use them. You could use them without heating if you had to. I like to keep these on hand for when the kids are sick because it's in like a sippy cup to kind of container. So you can just warm this up and give them a little cup of soup that they can just sip, you know, on the couch or in their bed or wherever they are. And then I found these packets of Zesty Italian um, dressing mix for 53 cents a packet, the Good Seasons brand. And I don't use these to make my own salad dressing. Like a lot of um, package mixes, I don't use them for that purpose, but I use them in recipes. Like I have recipes that use, that call for Zesty Italian um, dressing mix. like 
meatloaf recipes, Italian beef recipes, things like that. The Zesty Italian is pretty expensive usually. My Walmart does not have a store brand of Zesty Italian. They just have regular Italian. So I usually just use the regular Italian, but I figured the store brand, the Walmart store brand in the single packet is 50 cents. To get the Zesty Italian, um, even a four pack of this Good Season Zesty Italian is $5. So it's more than a dollar a packet, even when you buy it in the bulk package. So 53 cents, I'm only paying three cents a package more than the store brand, and I'm getting the Zesty Italian that my recipes call for. So I grabbed a bunch of these. This would also be good um, in a marinade, as a marinade, you could put this in a coating or a breading of like chicken or something like that. Lots of different things that you could use this for. Now these um, cookie mix packages, this was another one that was in the clearance aisle. They don't have their sticker on them, so I don't remember exactly how much they were, but it is something that I use. Once again, just like the dressing mix, I don't use the package mix to make cookies. When we do cookies, we make them from scratch, but I do have some recipes that use cookie mix as an ingredient like the caramel apple cheesecake bars that I made. And you could do that really with any flavor um, besides caramel apple, which is very fall-ish, but I could do that um, with like a raspberry flavor for summer. And then I got this um, package of the peanut butter snap crackers. That's a package of 27 packs and it was marked down to a 433. Um, we use those just for packing lunches and stuff, but you can also throw those if you're making little homemade MRE packs, that would be a perfect little snack to throw in. I'm gonna be doing that soon, so I'm gonna need some things like this. And the last couple of clearance items I got, I think here are from the camping section. This one right here is a little like thermal food container. It has a larger bowl on bottom and two smaller bowls. So it has three sections. And I was kind of hoping that this might work to mix up those um, emergency meals that I got from Thrive Life in the bottom part, at least the bigger part. I'm not sure if it's gonna work because those meals are pretty large. They do make quite a bit. And that bottom part is not super big, but I'm hoping that I'm going to try it. And even if it doesn't work for that, this will be handy for lots of different things. And then this is just a sleeping bag that was on clearance for just over $20. And we actually have the same sleeping bag that I bought for regular price. Now I don't actually keep our sleeping bags with like our emergency gear. Like I don't pack them in our bug out bags or anything because typically I have something smaller and lighter and easy to carry packed in those bags. But we do keep our sleeping bags all packaged up um, you know, all, all together in one tote. And so if we were needing to evacuate or leave in a hurry and we did need sleeping bags and have a room to take them, we could grab that tote easily. So, and I like that this is the same as one that we bought this past summer because I think I could zip them together. And my kids actually fought over this sleeping bag with all the different ones that I bought. They fought over this one. So I was glad to find this one on clearance. Now I've got some more food things. Now, some of these here are just kind of um, filling the shelves, filling the gaps in our shelves. Um, you know we've been reorganizing and revamping all of our food storage areas. And so certain places, if I've, if I've designated a row for something and I don't have a full row, I'm just filling it up. The sauerkraut, I eat the sauerkraut. Nobody else in the house really eats it, but I usually, I used to buy the great value in the cans. And all of a sudden this one is cheaper. This one in the jar is actually cheaper per ounce. And so I've started buying this instead now I'm torn because I know the glass jar is going to be a healthier probably way to have the food stored. It's also a little bit less convenient. They don't stack as well. I can't put them in a can rack, a rolling rotating can rack, things like that. But like I said, I usually go for price. That's usually my um, defining factor. So then Alfredo sauce, same thing. My kids love this great value brand Alfredo sauce. That's their favorite. We go through quite a bit of it. It's good to have a lot of different pasta sauces on hand because, and a lot of pasta in your food storage because you can really put together an easy meal pretty quickly and it's very inexpensive to have a pasta meal. Even if you just have the pasta and the sauce, they're both very shelf stable and they both are very inexpensive. And then if you wanna make it fancy or you can throw in meats and veggies, you can use canned meats and veggies or you can use your freeze dried, anything like that to make it a more interesting and more complete meal. And then this one is just some sliced pepperoncinis. I use those, I use those in my Italian beef and I just canned up a bunch of Italian beef. So I used a bunch of those. So I was just replenishing. And then salsa here, the same thing. We have a couple of rows for salsa in our food storage room upstairs. I keep one row for store-bought and one row for our home canned salsa. I don't know why I just do. I do that with spaghetti sauce as well. And then if we have extra overflow, it goes down cellar. So right now I've got plenty of the home canned down cellar, but we are running pretty low on the store bought. And so I got a few more jars. I got four jars here. 
to fill that row in the food storage room. And now these um, six packages of this Jiffy Raspberry Muffin Mix. I was so surprised and excited to see this at my Walmart. I do like these little Jiffy mixes. You can make muffins out of them, but they're super versatile. You can also make pancakes out of them. They've actually got instructions for that right on the package somewhere. You can do the muffins. This one has another recipe for raspberry bars that you can do. But I was excited to see the raspberry ones because I saw a recipe for um, copycat Subway raspberry cheesecake cookies and it used the raspberry jiffy um, muffin mix and I thought that sounded like a really great idea and I wanted to try them but I couldn't find the raspberry muffin mix anywhere local to me and on Amazon they were kind of expensive so I had just hadn't gotten around to ordering them yet because it was a lot to pay so if I found them at my Walmart my Walmart started carrying the raspberry so I'm super excited to get these, I love raspberry. Raspberry flavored anything is like my favorite. And like I said, you can make quick muffins to go with your dinner or for your breakfast. You can do pancakes. You can um, use this in all sorts of things. Now, of course, it does call for egg and milk to make the muffins and the pancakes both need those ingredients. But of course, we have powdered eggs and we have powdered milk and um, shelf stable liquid milk as well. So we would be all set to make these um, no matter what the situation. And something that I learned camping with the Girl Scouts was doing steamed muffins where we just put the muffin batter into um, unwaxed paper cups and put it into a pot, a big pot of water, just a tiny, like an inch of water maybe on the bottom and put the paper cups with the muffin mix in and just um, steamed them in the pot with the lid on. And that was a great way um, to make the muffins without needing an oven. And then I got a four different boxes of the Zatarans. There's a couple dirty rice and a couple of jambalaya. One of my canning groups, I saw somebody um, can up like a complete meal where they used um, these rice mixes and they used kibasi sausage, like um, like Hillshire Farms type of sausage cut up um, and did that in a canning jar. And I thought that looked like really delicious and like a really great idea. And so I want to try that because I love um, canning up meals in a jar. So I got a few boxes of this so I can try that. Uh, these sweet and salty granola bars, these are the peanut ones. This is just another example of filling up the shelf, just filling the gaps in the shelf. I have a whole lot of these sweet and salty bars. We like these a lot, but I have one child who can only eat the peanut because the other nut varieties, um, she's sensitive to those. So um, she can only eat the peanut. So I try to make sure I have plenty of these. And that was the one where I had gaps. I have all kinds of the almond because I got them on sale. I have a lot of the cashew because they're for some reason cheaper than the other flavors and I didn't have as many peanuts. So we're filling that gap. So next um, I have this seemingly random assortment of small little items, little single items, which isn't really like my hauls. I usually tend to stock up in bulk and buy cases of things or at least four or six cans or items. But but all of these little items here are Ibotta deals. Now Ibotta is an, a rebate app that I use. If you use it, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, I'll have a link down in the description box if you want to check it out or if you want to download it. It's an app that's completely free to use and you get money back on things that you buy and a lot of free items. They have a lot of items where they rebate you 100% of the items cost. But they also have bonuses that go on and those are pretty fun to do. They'll have bonuses where you get an extra, you know, X amount of dollars for completing a certain amount of rebates and it varies every time it can be different. And I opened my app the other day in the store and I saw that I had a, I had a bonus for $5 back for 10 rebates, which basically amounted to an extra 50 cents per item, which made for some really good deals. So I went around and grabbed a few things that we use and that were small, um, and that were small items that would make sense for the deals. So just to give you some examples of the deals, these artichoke hearts, now I love artichoke hearts, it's something that I use all the time, and I do try to store quite a bit of. In fact, I wanna try freeze drying artichoke hearts because I'd love to have them um, in a freeze dried form to include in my meals in a jar. So I am actively trying to um, build up my stockpile of these. Now these Reese artichoke hearts, the name brand, they were priced at $1.98 in my store, it was a rollback. And there was a 50 cent I bought a rebate for them. So add to that the extra 50 cents I got for completing the bonus. And this can of artichoke hearts was 98 cents. In contrast, the great value artichoke hearts were $2.42. So this was a really great deal. They also had a great deal on these old El Paso chopped green chilies. I use these all the time. I have a lot of recipes that use them. Now these old El Paso uh, green chilies were $1.64 and there was an I bought a rebate for 50 cents off of any old El Paso item that matched up to this item. And of course add to that the extra 50 cents I got from the bonus. 
and these turned out to be 64 cents. By contrast, the great value chopped green chilies were 78 cents, so this was a good deal. And then these Reese um, water chestnuts, this is something that we also use a lot of. I love water chestnuts. We like them in stir fry. I have a recipe for a chicken crescent wreath that we make that uses these. Lots of things that these can go in. So we definitely store these. These were priced at 98 cents and there was a 50 cent rebate for them. So add to that the extra 50 cents I got from the bonus. And these were actually free um, plus a two cent money maker. And then there was a rebate for Jello. It could be um, any kind of Jello, either Jello um, gelatin or Jello pudding. Now I just chose this pistachio pudding because I know it's something that we use. Once again, we tend to use this in recipes more than we use it just as a pudding. This was priced at $1.24 and the Ibotta rebate was only 15 cents, but add to that the 50 cent rebate that I got for the bonus and it ended up being 59 cents. Now in contrast, the great value pistachio pudding is 88 cents, so that was a great deal. And then these drink mixes, these are just the crushed drink mixes. We do buy a lot of these drink mixes to have on hand and we keep quite a stockpile of these in our prepper pantry. Um, these are already cheaper at Walmart than they are at Dollar Tree and they're cheaper than the Walmart great value um, brand of something that's similar. So this had a rebate of a dollar off of four packages. And then of course I got the extra 50 cents for completing the bonus. The Kraft Mac and Cheese, this is something similar. My kids love macaroni and cheese. We go through a lot of macaroni and cheese. This box was priced at a dollar. The rebate was only 20 cents, but with the extra 50 cents um, that I got for completing the bonus, this came out to be 30 cents. By contrast, the great value is 50 cents for macaroni and cheese. There's also a bonus that you can get for doing this craft rebate, um, I think it's five times in a row, so I'm working on that. And then there was this veganaise or veganaise, I'm not really sure how you say this, I've always said veganaise, but the more I look at it, the more it looks like it's supposed to be veganaise, but now my middle daughter is obsessed with this and it's really usually pretty expensive and I've had a hard time finding it around here, but it's brand new at my Walmart. They've just started carrying it. Now this container here was $5.98, but there is a $2.75 rebate for it. And then of course add the extra 50 cents for the bonus. And that makes it about $2.73, which doesn't seem great for a jar of mayonnaise this size. This is 14 ounces, but for this veganaise, this vegan mayonnaise, this is a really good deal. Now that's not quite 10 rebates, but I do have um, some more items over here that were other Ibotta rebates that counted towards the bonus. So, so we'll get to those in just a little bit. Now these next few items are things that I picked up from Dollar Tree. These, I found these, I've never seen these before. I'd never even heard of them. I've never seen them at a regular store and I just happened to see them at my Dollar Tree the other day. They're called Flavor Up and it says they're cooking concentrates and they sound, and they sound really yummy. There's a rich garlic and herb, a caramelized onion with burgundy wine and a savory mushroom and herb, which really sounds good to me because I love mushrooms. So for $1.25, I thought this seemed like a great deal. I have nothing to compare it to because I've never seen these before, but I thought I would try them and give them a try. So I grabbed them. It's always important to have seasonings and condiments and sauces and flavorings in your prepper pantry because that can really help to give you some variety and really help to make some interesting meals out of your basic food storage items, your basic grains, your rice, your pasta your vegetables and your meats, whether they're canned, whether they're freeze dried, whether you're growing them in your garden. When you have different seasonings and different sauces and different flavorings, you can make a huge variety of meals out of those. Now these other few items from Dollar Tree are from the pet section. These, I was super excited to find these at Dollar Tree because I've been looking for these and I've they've been pretty expensive everywhere I've seen them. I did pick up a few at our local grocery store a while back, but they were considerably more than $1.25. These are the collapsible dog dishes. So they open up into a little bowl and then of course they collapse flat and so they store very easily, very flat. They have this carabiner on them so you could hang them on your bag or hang them anywhere. I grabbed quite a few of these. We have six dogs right now and I think I grabbed six bowls. I'll probably end up grabbing some more when I go back but I didn't wanna take them all. But these are super handy to have um, even just to have in your car, to have in your backpack or your whatever pack you take if you take your dogs for a walk, if you have go bags for your dogs or any kind of kits like that for your dogs which, or your cats, which you should have, any animals really. We need to prep for our animals as well because they're family members too. 
Now I've had fancy um, doggy water bottles with little bowls attached and things like that. I've had several of those. I'm sure I'll have more in the future. I just find those to be sort of a pain in the butt. Um, they're not as convenient as they look. And I found what works best for us is just having a bottle of water and some sort of a dish to pour it into. So these are going to be great. They can also be used for feeding the dog and things like that. And then I got this pet food scoop. Now I probably won't use this for pet food because we measure our pet's food. So you know, we use actual measuring cups for that. But this is a pretty big scoop. And for $1.25, I thought this was a great um, deal. I might use this for transferring dry goods from one container to another or into a Mylar bag when I'm packaging up um, dry goods and things like that. So I thought this scoop would be really useful for $1.25. And then the next couple things from Dollar Tree, I'm not sure um, if they're going to be any good because they are from Dollar Tree, but I thought they were worth giving a try. Um, cat nail clippers. I actually don't use these on our cats. I usually don't clip their nails. I'm not that crazy, but I've used cat nail clippers on um, guinea pigs before. So I'm thinking that these should be plenty strong enough to use on a guinea pig. So we're going to give these a try because that's a good deal. And then they do have some dog nail clippers. I also really don't clip the dog's nails because it's kind of traumatizing for me and for them so they usually go to the groomers for that but I thought with the new puppy it might be worth just giving it a try at least to keep him used to it and maybe you know get myself used to it so I picked these up to see if they're any good um they may not end up being sufficient because they are from Dollar Tree but they'll probably be good for something so we'll try them and then the last item that I have here from Dollar Tree um probably isn't really a prepper pantry item but just a pantry item in general I was just pretty tickled to see this at Dollar Tree it's a butter dish and I used to have one just like this that was rubber made I think and I'm sure it cost a lot more than a dollar 25 and I don't know what happened to it I think it got destroyed somehow but so I've just been putting my butter into a small little Tupperware dish and I have to cut it in half so I saw this and I grabbed it I thought this was an awesome find I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree before now the other couple things are just some pet items once again we have to make sure that we're prepared for our pets um, with food and the things that they need a little bit extra we do try to keep extra pet food on hand but we just got a couple of new guinea pigs we've had guinea pigs before we haven't had them in in some time it's been a few years so we really um, weren't that prepared and we ran out of a bag of food and we didn't have an another bag waiting and when you're used to being prepared and having a good food storage and a lot of preps you're not used to running out of things and the food that we preferred to use was from Amazon and so I had to run out to Walmart and grab a bag of just plain old guinea pig pellets and so I did that and then I actually grabbed an extra bag this is the extra bag so that we'll have this as a backup bag so that doesn't happen again and then I also ordered our regular bag from Amazon as well and put that on my subscribe and save so that I can make sure that we get a little bit ahead of it I know with a lot of dry pet foods like cat and dog foods you can't store them up for that long because they tend to go rancid I kind of don't think that guinea pig pellets would go bad or go rancid they do um, have a lot of a high need for vitamin c and that's um, not a very stable vitamin so i can see that the vitamin content might dwindle so i wouldn't want to store it for too long but it's always good to have at least a bag ahead and then there's a case back there of the canned cat food these are the large cans this is something that we use a lot um, canned cat food is a better way to store and dog food as well it stores better for longer than the dry food. I mean, just like our food, canned cat food can be good for a very long time in the can. So the last things I have here in this haul are just some personal care and some household items. One box of tissues, this is another I bought a deal. Um, my Walmart doesn't even sell great value tissues anymore. I don't know if they've discontinued them or my store is just not carrying them. But So this was a good deal. We do have a lot of tissues, but we try to keep a lot of tissues. And being winter, we've been using a lot. So I am going to be restocking them. Now, this is just a bottle of Febreze fabric spray. This was another I bought a deal, $2.30 back on this bottle of Febreze. Um, Febreze is probably not a necessity in an emergency, but it is something that we use. And if you think about it, if you are in a situation where the electricity is out and maybe the water's not running and you're not able to do laundry, it might be nice to have a little bit of fabric refresher spray. A couple more packs of razors. These are some more Ibotta deals. Um, you can always find good deals on razors on Ibotta and all the other uh, couponing and rebate apps. I'll list all the ones that I use down in the description box. Sometimes you can use um, more than one rebate. You have to read the verbiage really carefully because um, they've started adding sometimes where they say you can't use it with another rebate or another coupon. But if you just pay attention and read, sometimes you can get some really great deals. 
on things like this. We've already talked about why you want to have razors um, stocked up. And then some laundry detergent. I try to keep um, at least six months of this type of supplies on hand. You always need laundry detergent. Um, this is Gain. Obviously, this is a better brand. It's a more expensive brand, but I really like this one. So I will usually pay a little extra to get this brand, but this was um, a deal. This bottle was in the clearance aisle for $8.15, and there was a $2 rebate. So that was $6.15 for that bottle. And then I got three of these really giant jugs of this extra laundry detergent. Now, this is already a cheap laundry detergent to begin with, and it's not my favorite but it does work. I buy it sometimes. Um, you know, you have to take what you can get. Um, laundry detergent can be expensive. It will get your clothes clean. It's not my favorite, but I'm not really a laundry detergent snob. I'll use whatever. These jugs are really, really huge and they were marked down to $8 on clearance. So I did grab three of them. And then the last item over here is this barkeeper's friend. This is a, like a more liquid cleanser. I love the Barkeeper's Friend Powdered Cleanser. I just bought some more of that recently, you might remember, but I've never seen or used the more liquid cleanser before. But I saw it in the clearance aisle and I thought it would be worth a try because I do like the Barkeeper's Friend. So that's the last item that we got in the haul today. Okay guys, so I promised I would go over the spring sale flyer with you. Now this flyer is um, four pages long. Plus, um, we still have one page of that's the April um, delivery specials. These are things that have been on sale for the entire month of April, and they will remain on sale for the entire month of April. So for the spring sale, um, we have prices up to 50% off. Of course, it's from the 18th to the 24th. I did say that that's a Tuesday, starts on a Tuesday. Now you see here that um, consultant early access begins April 17th. That's one of the consultant perks that they offer is um, early access to all the big sales. And I have seen some very um, in high demand items sell out on that first day of the sale, which I have mixed feelings about that, but I guess that um, is a nice perk. So, so if you have ever thought about becoming a consultant for any reason, whether it be just to get a little kickback on your own purchases or whether you really would like to have a business and some additional income, then this would be a great time to join because not only would you get early access to the sale for yourself, but it's very, very easy to get other people to purchase during the sales because that's when everybody wants to buy things. And so it can really, really um, springboard your business to success and they have so many benefits if you hit certain sales goals in the beginning of like in the first hundred days of you becoming a consultant you can earn so much free credit and free gifts and things like that so the things that are on sale so the biggest discounts are going to be 50 percent off and that's going to be on corn and the cranberries now the corn is so amazing this freeze-dried corn i have seen so many people just make a purchase just based on tasting that corn because it's so amazing and corn is a less expensive item to begin with and so getting that for 50 percent off is a really great savings you see the different sizes um, a family size can is like a gallon size can like the cans you usually see me buy a pantry can is smaller it's about a quart size you do get additional savings when you buy a case um, rather than just a single can and a case of the family cans is six cans a, a case of the pantry cans is 10. now one thing to know as you're looking over this um, flyer is all these symbols um, this fd is freeze-dried most of the items they sell are freeze-dried but there are a few that are not that are either dehydrated items or just like um, a recipe type of item like a sauce mix or something or a cookie mix or something like that um, neutralock this means that it has this means that it's certified under their very high quality standards, the Nutrilock Promise. Many of their items are gluten free, so you've got, um, looks like they put this symbol down a little bit, this GF, but gluten free means they're gluten free certified and they have many items that are. The NG for non GMO. And then if you see a D, that is for discontinued. So if you want one of those items, you want to grab it quickly because once they're gone, they're gone. So we've got the sweet corn and the cranberries on sale, sweetened cranberries. Um, we have a disagreement in our house. It says that they're sweetened. They're not sweet like craisins, I'll tell you that. Um, Mr. Wicked Prepared likes them as is and will just snack on them. For me, they're a little too tart for that, but I use them in baking. I've made some pumpkin cranberry muffins and things like that. Um, we've got one of the meats, the pulled pork, is going to be 40% off. Um, cinnamon apple slices, cauliflower, this is an item that's discontinued. So if you want to have freeze-dried cauliflower, now is the time to get it. Mangoes, this is one of my family's favorite fruits. These are delicious. And we also like to get the broccoli a lot. 
If you are gluten-free, I have heard that the gluten-free flour is really, really good. I have not used it because I'm not gluten-free, so I don't have a need for it. And then of course the onion slices, freeze-dried onions are a very, very popular item because people just love having the ease of having onions ready to go without having to peel and chop a raw onion. And then some proteins, these are very desirable items. Everybody wants to have the proteins in their prepper pantry. The so sausage crumbles and the ground beef are two that we use all the time for different recipes. And then shredded cheddar cheese, that is priceless. Having um, shredded cheese in your prepper pantry is amazing. Having it shelf stable, if you just add a couple tablespoons of water to the dry cheddar cheese, it, it refreshes and it just becomes regular cheese. It will melt on your food and act just like regular cheese. And we also have the chopped onions on sale, you can see. That's another really popular one. I use the chopped onions more than I use the slices. And some fruits, bananas, blueberries, bananas are a big favorite among my kids. Bell peppers, the instant beans, the instant black beans, any of the instant beans are great. They think along the lines of instant rice. They're going to, um, they've been cooked and then dehydrated or freeze dried so that they don't need that long cooking time. They cook very, very quickly. Within five to 10 minutes, they're soft. You could even just pour boiling water over them and they would really soften for you and so in an emergency situation instant beans are a great thing to have the tomato powder is another wonderful item for your prepper pantry this is so versatile it's just tomato that's all that's in it and you can use this depending on how much water you mix with it you can make tomato juice tomato sauce or tomato paste it can replace all of those items in your pantry the grapes are actually really really tasty the grilled chicken dice is another great protein to have on hand they do have the cheese sauce on sale. I love all of their sauce mixes and I grab these anytime I can, anytime they're on sale. So I'll definitely be getting some of the cheese sauce. And the classic lemonade. This is one that's seasonal. They don't have it all year round. You can see that's another thing. Anything that says limited time um, is pretty much seasonal. You know, once a year they produce it and when it's gone, it's gone. This lemonade sold out extremely fast. Um, last year when it came out. I didn't even get any last year. Luckily, I already had some in my pantry. I have not run out, but it's just lemon really. And so you, it has no sweetening in it. So you can make your own lemonade however you like. Um, if you want to put sugar, that's fine. If you want to use honey or if you want to use an artificial sweetener, you can do that. And you can also use this as um, an ingredient in anything that calls for lemon juice or anything like that. Like I've used this in my lemon chicken pasta meal in a jar that was one of our favorites. That is really delicious. I'll put a card to that uh, video and recipe up in the corner of the screen. Now on the next page, this is pretty exciting because I have not seen these go on sale really before. Um, the brand new meals. They've got the sampler pack, which has, I believe it has one of every single meal, and they have that for $25 off. Now these are large meals. These contain three servings. Now like with anything, you probably might consider a serving size a little bit bigger. So realistically, you might get more like two servings out of these, but these are bigger than most of the other freeze-dried backpacking emergency meals that you will see. And they have real meat and real vegetables in them. Um, they're all very delicious. Certainly if you serve a side dishes with them, you, you could get three servings out of these. And then the chef packs. This is another thing that I'm very excited about. This is a wonderful um, thing to get, especially if you're brand new to freeze dried food. These chef packs come with all the ingredients that you see. There's a ground beef chef pack, there's a pulled pork chef pack, and there's a Southwest chicken chef pack. So they come with the ingredients that you see, and they are, um, these are the pantry cans, so they're the smaller cans. But they also come with up here on the right, you see these are recipe cards and it comes with a collection of recipes that use this collection of ingredients. And it just leads you through cooking these different meals and these different dishes in a quick and easy way. And it really gets you used to the idea of cooking with freeze dried food, which is really important because if you're gonna have food in your home and in your pantry, you want to make sure that you know how to use it. So they have some really great recipes. These are a lot of fun. These make a great gift as well, the chef's packs. They're kind of almost like a blue apron type of thing, except the ingredients aren't measured out individually, but they do come with um, you know, instructions and measurements right on the cards and it's all very easy. And those are some of my favorite things. Those were out of stock forever. And I'm so glad that they've come back in stock and they're on sale.
Now this page is what I am most excited about because I actually was planning to buy one of these large pantry organizers. I was going to buy one this month. I have quite a bit of free credit built up and so I was going to use that towards one of these pantry organizers. The one right on the left here, the family can system, this holds the large gallon size cans and I am working on um, filling a wall in my basement with these so that I can store all of my number 10 cans or most of my number 10 cans in these racks. It's just a lot easier. Right now we have them stored in cardboard boxes um, and I have to unstack the boxes to get to different ingredients when I need a refill and so these racks will make it so much easier you just pull the bottom can out and they all roll back and the next one rolls into place and so it keeps them it rotates them for you it's fantastic I also have one kind of like this pantry can system on the right um, I have this in one of our food storage rooms and I have it um, set up to hold all regular grocery store size cans and then the consolidators down here. Um, now these are amazing and I am working on building a huge unit out of um, these for my kitchen because these can be stacked on top of each other and they can be connected end to end so there's so many options and they're so they're really like a modular form of these bigger shelves. You can do them how you want them in the size that's going to fit into your space. And so I'm excited to see these because we store a huge variety of canned foods and so I need a lot of these to be able to have a row for each can that I use. So that was the last page of the sale flyer and now we just have the regular April delivery specials which has some great items in it. Um, strawberries and raspberries are on sale and we have the diced chicken and the peas and the mashed potatoes and the veloute which is another sauce and if you saw my video earlier this month I did a chicken shepherd's pie meal in a jar that was really awesome it used this chicken and the peas and the mashed potatoes and the veloute and you just sprinkle it all in the pan and spring all dry add a little water sprinkle the mashed potatoes right on top dry pour water over the whole thing and cover it and bake it and it forms up a delicious shepherd's pie and then I did use the strawberries and raspberries in a cobbler that was also a meal in a jar. So that was fantastic. So if you get a chance to check that out, that might give you some ideas to use some of these items if you purchase them. The country white dough mix, that's a great thing to have on hand. One can, this is the smaller can, the pantry can, one can will make one loaf of bread. All you need is a one packet of yeast and everything else is in the can. So that is a great thing to have on hand. And then these packs, they give you a little bit additional savings if you get um, the specials pantry can pack has one of the smaller cans of each item that's on sale. And the fruit and veggie pack has the family can, the larger can of just the fruit and veggies that are on sale. And it shows you what you get with those. A lot of people who are first starting out with Thrive Life like to start with these monthly special packs. Um, their first few months because it lets them try out a larger variety of items in a smaller size and at a lower price and so it really gives you a chance to figure out which items are your favorites if there's anything you don't care for you know you don't stock up on a whole bunch of it try everything out and then um, choose your favorites for stocking up on and then always stock up when it's on sale okay so some tips and tricks for shopping the sale um, mostly my biggest one is well try to get on early but at the same time sometimes the site can be very busy in the very first few minutes and it can run slow so if the site is running slow or if it crashes which definitely has been known to happen and they've made a lot of improvements so it shouldn't happen this time and I hope it won't but it does tend to run slow so don't lose heart just take a break from it for 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour come back and try again. I hesitate with what to tell people to do because on the one hand some of the best things have sometimes been known to sell out quickly. They've gotten a much better handle on their stock levels and things like that um, now than they did have in the last couple of years so hopefully that won't be an issue but sometimes things do sell out and so I don't like to tell people to wait but at the same time telling people to get right on and shop you know it crashes the site people get frustrated so just keep that in mind there's usually a huge crush of people trying to shop the sale so if the site is slow just give it a few minutes and then come back to it now as far as using the delivery service if you use the delivery service you know all about it but if you don't um, some people get scared off by it because it seems like um, you're committing to something that you can't get out of or that you have to do a certain number of times or a certain amount and it's not like that it's not scary at all typically for the monthly specials 
you have to use um, the delivery service to qualify for the lower price. You get 15% off of every item when you use delivery and you also get the monthly delivery special prices. And the other thing about delivery is that you qualify for shipping at $99 and above. You can't qualify for shipping without using delivery service. But you don't have to order a specific amount. You don't have to order a specific number of times. You have complete control over it. You can go into your account at any time. You can change the items in your delivery. You can skip a delivery. You can um, shut your deliveries off if you need to take a break for a while or if you need to take a break forever. You have no obligation to purchase a certain amount. It's just a really great way to save money and to get free shipping. And we all like free shipping and saving money. So it's definitely the way to go. And if you have any questions about it, then definitely contact us and we can explain a little bit better or we can send you a video that shows, you know, really shows you how to do everything in delivery. So really those are the best tips that I have. Shop early, but don't get discouraged if the site is slow. Take a little break and come back. Um, and use delivery service for sure and to be able to qualify for free shipping. During this sale and all the big sales, you don't have to use delivery to qualify for the sale prices. Retail orders can also qualify for these sale prices. However, they will not um, have the chance to earn free shipping. And then I guess my final tip is that if you have, have ever been interested in being a consultant or if you're looking for an additional stream of income or anything like that, now is a great time to join because you will get that early access to the sale and you will also have this sale to springboard your business, which is huge. So many people um, take their business to the next level and the next rank during these big sales. And when you do that, you get bonus pool shares and you know thank you gifts and things like that. And so it's really a wonderful thing. And we will have a link down in the description box where you can go and check out um, the whole flyer if you want to, you know, take a look at it with your own eyes at your own speed. We'll have a link down in the description. So look for that. Okay, guys, as always, thank you for hanging out with me today. And thank you so much for your patience with me over this last week while I've been under the weather. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me your favorite flower emoji down in the comments. This one's mine. And don't forget to check out this playlist up here for some more videos you might enjoy. I'm Jara with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.